Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I wanna to introduce the new instructor side pane that's available in Tackle Structures version 2021. So when you open up a model, you'll notice a new icon over here on the side pane. So I'll go ahead and click that and this will launch the instructor. And what this does is it gives you instructions for the currently active ribbon command or a command that's active in your applications and components catalog. And one of the primary reasons that we created this was to make Tecla structures easy to learn and easy to use, especially if you're using a command that you're not familiar with or that you may have never used before. So I'll click through a few examples just to show you how this works. So just real basic, I'll activate the create steel beam command. You can see that there is written text there with instructions, but then you'll also be able to see a quick video of how it can be inserted. So here's another good example. If I activate the create spiral beam command, you can see how this is inserted by picking the start point, picking the center point, setting the rotation axis, and then you can see how it's actually inserted there into the model. So again, you don't have to hit F1, go out to the Tecla user assistance. This is right here in the software where you can see a quick video of that. However, we do provide links to the user assistant, so if you want to open up that and to be able to view and learn more, you can certainly do that. And we link to additional videos showing how these tools can be used. Another good use case of this would be here for our, some of our new bent plate commands. These have been launched in previous versions. If you've never used them before, you can simply just activate the command and it'll just show you a brief video of how those work along with written text and tips and links to our Tecla user assistance. So here's one more example here on the conical bent plate, for example, where you can see how that's inserted. You can see the mini toolbar that pops up and how that can be utilized. So let's take a look at how some of these work in the applications and components catalog. So I'll just come to steel detailing, open up US recommended, and I'll just click through a few of those. We get several questions about these. And one of the nice things about these videos is it shows various framing scenarios that can be used. For example, the column to brace connection, the column with base plate to brace connection, and then the beam to brace connection. So same component used in various scenarios and a video of how that actually works. So I'll scroll down here. We can take a look at some other options. Common questions that we get, especially from new users, is how to insert handrails. So if I activate S76, here you can see a quick video of how those will be inserted. And then the written text, pick position, pick second position, pick each member the stanchion will attach to, and then middle mouse to complete that command. Uh, we also have a great documentation here on S77 of how to place the handrails once the stanchions are inserted into the model. So you can see an example of that, of placing the handrails at the top. And then if I scroll down, here's an example of how to place the grab rails as well. And then again, tips and additional documentation if you'd like to learn more. So I'll scroll down here, down to our custom components. Again, these are some uh, common questions that we get of how these work. So I'll just click through a few of these. Here's an example of the Chevron of beam to beam component. Here would be an example of the kicker to brace. So again, if you've never used these before or are curious how they work, you can just simply click on them, watch a brief little video of how they work and get a better understanding of that. So I'll let that one play through there. There's the turnbuckles. And then the last examples that I'll show you down here in the handrails, again, common questions. How do you insert these handrail panels? So a quick, a quick video showing how that works as well as the written instructions there. And uh, the last one that I'll show is just these ornamental pickets. So you'd pick the left post, pick the right post, and then pick two points starting at the top of the post and ending at the bottom. And then those ornamental pickets will be inserted there. So we've gone through uh, all of the US recommended components and things like that, uh, created videos. Um, the ones here on the ribbon also have been created. So you can see instructions there. You'll notice here this plus sign that this allows you to add your own help file. So if you wanted to modify or edit the ones that we've created or even create your own, you can certainly do that. For example, if you wanted to include custom instructions to your users that are specific to your company, you could do that. Or if you do extension development, you can include this with your tools as well. 
I'll open up here the release notes. So this is the new instructor side pane section in the release notes. And it gives instructions how to use it. And it also gives you instructions how to create your own help files if you wanted to do that. And then we've also created supporting documentation where if you want to go in and edit the HTML file to further refine it, we've gone through a workflow showing how you can do that. So here's the guided walkthrough of how to create these new help files. And then we've included some instructions about how to edit the HTML file so that you can insert your own videos and modify the text as you would want. So as mentioned, this is available in Tecla Structures version 2021, the new instructor side pane. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.